Hello and welcome to Ula. My name is Lenore and I will be doing some tea leaf readings for you. Actually, I'll only be doing one today, but if you look at the other videos, I've done a few <laughs> and I will be doing many more. Okay. All right. Let's start out with our cup to the right. We're going to go three times counterclockwise and stop right at the heart. One. Okay, so immediately I'm seeing a oops, I'm seeing a crab figure here. So that's going to be the big event right here, cra the crab. Um, this is interesting because it looks like a crab from all angles. Maybe from this one too, it almost looks like it has a little angel on it. Little angel holding something. It looks like a baby. So let's see, what is that about? What is this about? Is this, are you having a baby? Are you trying for a baby? Um, do you have children already? Uh, or are you looking to be babied? I don't know yet. <laughs> um, okay, so we have the crab, our watery crab, um, which I always love the crab. I love any kind of watery creatures. Um, anything that has to do with the um, water element and it's like a very like kind of hardy, um, just, uh, an animal or being that just really can get through it all, you know, just has the ability to navigate those really, um, those really shifting strong waters, the currents of life. Um, I personally, well, my solar sign anyways, is, um, an is it I'm a Virgo so I'm an earth sign but um I'm always just really drawn to watery people yeah I'm married to a cancer so <laughs> now let's see what else do we have up here Now I'm looking and I'm seeing it. I have a little heart. It's incomplete though. It looks like it has a hole in it. So this may be not beeping back there. I'm sorry. That is my air fryer. I am having to cook dinner and do my little videos at the same time. <laughs> the night, the day just got away from me and we, night is upon us, right? So, okay. I'm seeing this little heart. It's incomplete. I think there's some kind of um, heartache, heartbreak, something happened, which makes me kind of sad because I see, um, now where did you go? Over here. I'm seeing this baby, f yeah, right there, this holding up of this baby, okay? So, goodness, um, I'm feeling like this is very much going to be a little story of um, maybe wanting to have a child with your partner. Um, maybe they're not sure. Uh, maybe you're not sure. Um, maybe you're not sure that they're the right person. Maybe... God forbid there's some kind of loss of child. Um, and more what I'm getting, though, is that you two are not on the same page about having a kid, okay? Um, this person that you're with, you or they are not on the same page. You, 
one of you wants to maybe have a kid. The other isn't sure or does not want to. Okay. And I think this is causing an amount of heartbreak. Um, I think that there's a lot of friction going on in this relationship. I think that you really love each other, though. Okay. Um, now I see there are things falling away for sure. Um, some of that original kind of romance, um, sense of real deep connection, um, I think, oh, this is interesting, this looks like a little minotaur here, um, I think a lot of that, uh, is kind of falling away in a way, I think there's definitely, like, an enduring, strong love, okay, I think that this figure, um, is indicating to me that, um, you, feel very safe with this person, like domestically. Okay. You guys really just are amazing together. You pay your bills together. You keep the house together, together. <laughs> um, you are happy in that way. You probably have a fairly romantic life. Um, but this wanting to take this next step into having a family, family, um, is causing some of that romance to disappear for sure. Um, here I'm seeing a woman standing next to um, what look like waves, okay? So, or a female, feminine, feminine figure. Um, so the feminine aspect of ourselves here. Um, standing in front of the water that looks like it's turbulent. So I think and gazing maybe into it. So I think right now um, some of those, your instinct is to kind of really look deeply into this, to ponder what is going to be more of a long-term um, uh, response. What is, how is this going to work out for you? How... Um, is this relationship going to survive these kind of stormy, um, these stormy places? Is somebody going to be able to change their mind? Is there going to be a resolution that help that, you know, uh, works for both of you so that you can stay together? Um, And unfortunately, you know, all I can tell you what I'm really seeing is that um, is that there's a lot of these incomplete paths, okay? And they have like all of them at here up at the top. They kind of just have these like forking, um, detached kind of lines. And what that tells me is that. Um, it's, this is going to be an ongoing issue. It's not going to find a resolution anytime soon. And I don't see you or them making a decision. I think that unfortunately it's going to be something that, um, maybe gets talked about quite a bit and then, um, there's a blow up and then it kind of disappears for a while, but it's an underlying discomfort in the relationship, within you, within them, okay? And um, really, I don't, I don't have any answers. I don't know when that's going to be resolved because I think you two don't want to, don't want to let go of each other. But I also think that you both kind of are pretty certain about how you feel. Okay. Yeah, and that's kind of, I think that, um, also I just want to mention with this crab at the beginning, um, oftentimes that indicates to me too that the person that you are, um, trying to work something out with emotionally, they have a tendency to go inside of themselves. Whenever anything gets kind of rough, they kind of maybe hide a little bit of how they feel and, don't like to ruffle feathers, um, but 
can sometimes be, can get to a point where they're have like little explosions of aggression and, um, definitely hold on to the things that you say and do to do to them or around them. So my advice is if you love this person, be very thoughtful about how you go about communicating with them. Okay. And don't take their silence as them ignoring it or dismissing your feelings. I think that they are thinking about this a lot. Okay. And they're trying to figure out how they can go forward without destroying this relationship. And that's really just the indication I'm getting from this plate as well. It's just, there's so much love. It's just sometimes we, we get to these certain points in our life where um, big decisions need to be made and we don't always agree. And um, having children is a big decision. So, um, yeah, I, I'm sorry I don't have more, <laughs> more than that really, but... Um, you know, I think that uh, if you just kind of be patient and, um, you know, just love each other and enjoy, enjoy each other and, you know, try not to get too worked up about this. Um, I think that uh, how things are supposed to happen will and they will reveal themselves to you in due time. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me read your tea leaves tonight, and um, I look forward to hearing from you guys and uh, just letting me know what you're thinking, what kind of symbols you're seeing, and uh, if you uh, enjoy these, please share them on social media. Come find me on Facebook um, or Instagram. I also have my Instagram up. Um, yeah, so like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs>